Hey everyone, this is the RG35XX Retro Gaming Handheld, and the stock operating system isn't great on this, so today I'm going to show you how to install what is called Garlic OS. And we're going to be doing this on a more reliable 128GB micro SD card, which is going to be better than the stock SD card which comes with this, which is not that reliable. So I'm going to show you the full process, and we're going to be doing this on a Mac computer, which is a little bit different from most of the tutorials which show you how to do this through Windows. And we're going to be showing you how to get the new operating system working on the Anbernic RG35XX. So going to be following these instructions from the user skyzyx which i'll leave a link to in the description these are macOS specific instructions which i'm going to be following today so the first thing i'm going to do is to set up this brand new 128 gigabyte card so i'm going to leave a link to this in the description it's a pretty standard micro sd card which is going to be a lot more reliable than whatever stock sd card which is often unreliable in these anodic devices so basically i'm going to take the sd card out of its packaging and then we're going to use the micro sd card reader or if you have a different adapter, you can go ahead and plug this in by USB-C, or we're going to use the default SD card slot on the side of the MacBook. So here I'm going to tell the computer to connect to the SD card, click allow, and now we have the 128 gigabyte card show up in Finder. So next thing we need to do is to download something called Belina Etcher. So just go to the Belina Etcher website, we're going to click download Etcher. If it doesn't come up, just refresh, and then we want this one Etcher for macOS, click download. So once that's done, we're going to go to our downloads folder in the Finder, double click on Blue Etcher, and then drag and drop this into Applications, and then we're going to move on to the next step. So next we need an application that can open .7z archives. So go ahead and download the Unarchiver, which is available on the Mac App Store. This is completely free to download, so just download this from the Mac App Store, and then we can move on to the next step. The last thing that we need to install is Homebrew. So I've got a tutorial for Homebrew in the description, but it's pretty straightforward. Just go to brew.sh, copy this tag here, go to Terminal in Spotlight, paste that command, and it's going to go ahead and download and install Homebrew for you. So just follow the instructions there. Make sure to set the path at the end as well. If you have any trouble, check the link in the description for my video. So now that we've got all the prerequisites, we're going to go ahead and download Garlic OS. So I'll leave a link in the description for Black Saras Patreon page. And at the bottom here, what we need to do is we need to download the correct files for a fresh SD card. So if we go to the bottom after all these massive change logs, and we'll see here micro SD card image one and two. So we don't want this one copying out of stock because we are not using the stock SD card in this instance. If you are, then you'll follow different instructions. We're going to download micro SD card one and micro SD card two. So these are two .7z files. We need both of them in order to extract them properly. So once we have both of the files downloaded, we need to select both of them and then right click or control click and open with the unarchiver. So what that's gonna do is to extract this into a new folder. And what this is gonna extract this into the garlic.img. Next, we need to flash the micro SD card. So we're gonna to go to Finder and then go to Applications. And then we're gonna open up Belina Etcher, which we've just downloaded and put into our Applications folder, double click, press Open. And then we're gonna follow the instructions here. So we're gonna flash from File. I wanna select the garlic.img, which we opened earlier. And the target that we wanna select is the 128 gigabyte card, which I've just installed. So we'll just select the root of the SD card, then press Select One. Then we press Flash. So just be aware, everything on this SD card is gonna be deleted. So make sure you don't have anything sensitive attached to that, press flash. So type in your computer password to continue. And now that's going through that process. So this should only take one or two minutes to finish. Just let that finish. So now the flash is completed, we can go ahead and close this. So now I can see that the disk is there and we have all of this custom firmware stuff installed already. So the main issue is that the SD card partitions aren't the right size. So if you wanna put 120 gigabytes of data on it, it's not gonna work because the volumes are too small. So we're gonna be using something called GDisk in order to resize the partitions. So I'm gonna be following these instructions. We're gonna be opening up Terminal, which I'll do on the right. I'm basically gonna follow the commands, brew, install, cask, gdisk. So this is gonna be using homebrew to install gdisk, which is gonna be used to resize the partition. So once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and confirm that this is working by typing in sudo gdisk, typing in a password. Don't worry if it's not showing up, that's because as a security measure, terminal doesn't show asterisks for passwords. Just type it in, press return. So just type in brew install cast gdisk again. So you can confirm this is working by typing in sudo gdisk. But now that's confirmed, we're gonna follow the next step, which is to go to disk util list. And it's gonna list all of the disks which are attached to this computer. And the one that we're interested in is this one here, disk number four. We can see here, this is the 128 gigabyte disk with several partitions inside it. So now what we're gonna do is launch gdisk. So sudo gdisk. And then what we wanna do is select our 128 gigabyte disk. So we're gonna type in 
Dev Disk 4. So this might be a little bit different for your computer, but Dev Disk 4 is the one for me. Let's return. So we're going to type in P to print to make sure we have the correct disk. And it's the one here with four kind of very small partitions, total size of 120 gigabytes. This is the correct one. We need to type in X to go into expert mode. We're going to type in E, and this is going to relocate backup data structures to the end of the disk. We're going to type in M to go back to the main menu. We're going to delete the ROMs partition by pressing D and then four. So we're going to be deleting this ROMs partition here. I type in four here to delete number four. So press P again, and now we only have three partitions. Now I'm going to type in N to create a new partition. This one is going to be number four, which is the next new one. I'm going to ask you for the first and last sector, press return, and then I'm going to press return as well. So it's going to maximize that partition. We're going to select these. We're going to enter the hex code 0700, which is going to format this as FAT32, which is the most compatible with Ambernic. Press return. I'm going to press P again, just to see that our last partition now is now the maximum size, 118 gigabytes. Now we're going to enter write mode by pressing W and then return. Are we sure we want to proceed? Yes, press return. And now that is done. And then we need to go to Spotlight and go to Disk Utility. We're going to look at our partition again. So we have our 128 gigabyte SD card. So basically what we need to do is to find the SD card partition with ROMs, custom firmware, and BIOS. And we want to kind of, we want to make a quick backup of this. So I'm going to copy this onto our computer somewhere because we're going to restore these later. Just make a folder, make a copy of this because basically what we're going to do is to erase this uh, partition and then add these files back. So it's only 800 megabytes. And then basically we're going to find the larger partition. So this is the data partition, the larger one. And what we want to do is to erase this. And within this utility, we're going to erase I want to call this one ROMs as it specifies in the guide. I want to format this as MS-DOS or FAT. Press Erase. Press Done. I want to go back to that backup folder we created earlier. I'm going to copy back these folders into this new ROMs folder. So that's 800 megabytes. So this is also going to be the moment where if you want to move any ROMs inside of the various folders here. So for example, if you've got some game ROMs that you want to put in, then this is a good stage to do this at. So go ahead and copy all the ROMs that you need and also any BAS files too. So just copy everything that you want. So basically all that remains to do is to go ahead and eject your SD card. Take out the micro SD. I'm actually going to take my card here and we're not going to use this at all anymore because we don't want the stock operating system or the stock ROMs. I'm going to put this into the first slot here. Just put this upside down. Slots in like that. Now I'm going to turn this on. Now I'm going to turn this on. We're running Garlic OS. And now we have all of the ROMs and everything that we need. And this is all running the latest version of Garlic OS. And we can go ahead and play all sorts of games on this RG35XX Retro Gaming handheld. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.